but not every point cloud has a color uh, data. Uh, in that case, the point cloud has a um, brightness data that we use. That's why you can see it in grayscale at the moment. Uh, so the goal of what we've developed this time is to also import the photo log taken from the car of the uh, measurement for the measurement of the road. So we have a list of photos uh, at different positions along the trajectory of the vehicle. We took the data and, and uh, the idea is to uh, drape the photos on the point cloud to give color to the point cloud. So to have uh, in the end from a grayscale point cloud a colored point cloud. So we can do two things actually. Uh, one is to add color from the photo log, so from photos taken from the vehicle. And one other feature is to add photos from the satellite pictures we could have also in the data. Uh, today we'll focus my presentation on the photo log, uh, if you don't mind, and uh, show you how all that works, and uh, hopefully uh, we understand how that works. Great. So in the data I, I have here, so it's some test uh, data that we use. Uh, but it's actual data, it's not just uh, dummy data. Um, so when you start a project actually, you start with a flat ground or uh, um, some ground you've imported from a DTM data. And you have to open the point cloud data. And we support um, text uh, ASCII file format. And so point clouds looks like that actually. So in the file, you can have some comments about the point data, and then you have the point data. So it's basically three coordinates, x, y, and z, or x, z, and y, uh, the order can vary a little bit. Then you have some uh, information on the color, or here it's only the brightness. So we use that for the grayscale of the point cloud. So when you import the data in the point cloud, you have in the point cloud plugin um, tool screen where you can do everything on the point cloud. Uh, on the top left corner of the, you can open files. So the, basically you open the text file of the point cloud. So I won't do it because I have already imported it this time. And when you import the file, because the file format can be a little bit different, you have some settings you can change, like 